chocolate production log, February 13th. I think I got it this time. I'm really happy with how with the process this time. So, last time tried butter, cocoa cocoa powder, Hershey's cocoa powder, and granulated sugar. This time I made it earlier today. And I made a lot of mess, which is unfortunate because the apartment's water is going to be off for maintenance most of today, most of tomorrow, and whenever I turn the water back on, it just kind of spurts and juts out, and I don't trust a dishwasher under these conditions. But, but, despite the mess, I think I was able to make something really nice. Today, I used quarter cup of butter, melted, microwave, quarter cup cocoa powder, quarter cup of powdered sugar and also some vanilla extract which i forgot the first time and you know came out production was fine came out a little bit thick wasn't as liquid as i would have liked i don't th i think i mixed things pretty well so i don't think there's much to be done on that front it was just mildly frustrating i didn't mix perfectly i think maybe that's the butter i'll discuss that more in a moment but First, let me get it out of the mold. As you can see, it's like, I tried to smooth it out with a spoon, which didn't work very well. But again, I think just in general, the, what was I gonna say? I tried to smooth it out with a spoon. It just wasn't liquid enough to like lie flat on its own, which was frustrating, but you know, what can you do? I'm being careful here, because I want to get it out without breaking the entire thing open. Dang it. Bright side, this is about what I was hoping for, texture-wise. I've had big issues with, issue with texture in the past, the coconut honey texture I really disliked, personally. And... The last one, of course, the granulated sugar really affected the texture in a way I didn't care for. But here, first, this is a piece of the chocolate. Very nicely formed, except for the bottom, which I can deal with. I know lots of chocolates involve milk in some way, either like milk powder or liquid milk. I considered adding a splash of milk from the fridge to make it just a little bit liquider, a little bit more liquid when I mixed it with the whisk. I didn't because I wasn't sure how that affect the setting. Maybe something to look for in the future. Maybe just do some test runs with a little bit of milk and butter. Just to see how that pans out. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. But for right now, first looks very nice. Has a very nice sheen and texture to it. And kind of snaps. Snaps a little bit. The bar, the ingredients I didn't have a ton of, so it came out very thin, so you don't get a nice thick snap to it. Still pretty good, I'm gonna try it. Mmm. That's pretty tasty. I thought it'd work out. Thought it'd work out. I'm still pleasantly surprised. Two squares more. Mm. Very pleased with how this turned out. Yeah, I think I got it. I think I got a recipe for chocolate at home that I can be really proud of, that I can be really happy with. Yeah, this is, this is good. Good texture, good color, good taste. I think I really nailed it. Next steps, because there's always room for improvement. This, even though it's been in the freezer, it melts a little bit on your hands very easily. And two speculations for why it is. One, made with butter, not cocoa butter, made with no milk. Maybe that affects just like the melting point. Second thing, this chocolate is not tempered. And tempering is a pretty labor-intensive process we're in melted chocolate is essentially like heated to just below a certain temperature, but roughly 91 degrees Fahrenheit, and agitated constantly in order to ensure that the proper crystals form. 
in the honey in the chocolate's crystalline structure and it's that's typically pretty hard for DIY chocolatiers to do it seems typically there's specific like tempering machines because the heat has to be specific the agitation has to be specific but I found an article by Alton Brown or at least on Alton Brown's website about how to temper chocolate in your home using two pans some water and a towel and that's going to be a bit intense but I think that is the next significant improvement that I can make. It will make a shinier texture and will improve the texture, make it shinier finish, better texture, and most critically, the crystalline structure made by tempering will be slightly more heat resistant. It won't melt as fast in your hands. So I believe if I do that next, that will really make level of chocolate bar that I am personally looking for, that I'm trying to produce. Other things I'm looking for in the future is flavor additives. This isn't really like an improvement on the base bar, but rather a modification. I know, for example, there's mint oils, peppermint oils. I have a thing of powdered peanut butter in the cabinet. And all these things could be added to a batch of chocolate to affect its flavor. I want to try mint. I want to try cherry. Cherry I might do through like a cherry extract or simply just juice from a jar of maraschino cherries. And again, peanut butter. Greases are some of my favorite candies. So powdered peanut butter in the chocolate mix, I think it'd be really impressive. But yeah, I think considering I don't have access to food grade cocoa butter, I think I've made a pretty phenomenal base chocolate bar. And I'm, and I'm pretty proud of this. Like, I, I don't use the word phenomenal a lot, but I am very proud of this. It's not coconut oil based. It's not trying to be keto or paleo. It's not making weird substitutions that I'm not, that I'm not pleased with. It's not melting other chocolate bars to make your own, which isn't really making a chocolate bar in my mind. It's just grocery store ingredients gathered together, mixed together, making chocolate really pleased. In a week or two, I might take some time to experiment with it a bit more, but definitely want to put up a recipe for how I did this. And yeah, I am just really excited. This melts really easily on my hands. Definitely want to try tempering it soon, but that's going to be a bit intense, so it might be a little while. But definitely base bar recipe will definitely put up at some point. Because I'm excited about this. This is my, of the recipes I've looked at and tried, this one is my favorite. Yeah, so, um, chocolate production log. Using butter and powdered sugar and cocoa powder and all that. I'm willing to call it unqualified success. I think this is pretty great. Have a good day.